Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good Monday. I've updated my schedule, so now Mondays I'm gonna do a random game, and then Fridays and Saturdays I'm gonna keep working on my main game, which at this point is Arceus, so we'll keep working through that. Uh, but I'm gonna start doing warm-ups, so I'm still gonna be playing Mario Kart 8, it's just, uh, I'll do it as like a warm-up, you know, a couple runs, or whatever at whatever specific cup. Hopefully I can still keep up. And also this is the first stream since I cut my hair for charity. So let's get a little closer look. Yeah, I, I buzzed it after uh, after cutting it off. So it's uh, it's it's short. It's really short. It has I haven't had this short like since this short since I was like a kid. I can't stop like touching it, and I can like feel things on my scalp. It's it's weird. I haven't had short hair in so long. But uh, yeah, just gonna grow back out to uh, donate again. And um, yeah, I sent it out today. So. In a, you know, a few weeks or whatever, I'm gonna hopefully get, like, a, a response that's just like, we, we got your hair. And that won't be a creepy thing to receive in the mail because I sent it to them on purpose. But yeah, let's, uh, let's keep working on the Triforce Cup. Yeah, we only have two of the original cups left. And then, uh, we got the Golden Dash and the Lucky Cat to work on after that. And then all these other all these other DLC ones that have yet to come. So I'm hoping I can at least finish off the original DLC or the original ones before the new DLC come, but I still have to do uh, the mirror mode and 200 CC. So we'll see. We'll see. But in any case, just doing his warm ups now. We are going to be playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors for the actual mainstream. And I'm going to start uh, doing it three times a week at least three to four hours. I'm gonna aim for four today. I'm starting a little late because dinner took longer than I expected to cook, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked on it, you know? I like streaming, so glad to do it more. And now that my hair's short, I can like uh, get to the gym at nighttime. Before, if I went to the gym at night, it basically meant that I'd be going to bed with wet hair and that meant that it would be a tangled mess in the morning. But now that it's super short and takes like, uh, like 10 minutes to dry, I don't even care. I can just go to the gym in the evening. And I did yesterday and it felt great. Super sore today because I, I haven't been going to the gym very much lately. So, yeah, got to work on my back. I've been having like neck and shoulder problems and my, uh... My massage therapist said that it's because I've worked on too much on my pecs, not enough on my upper back, so gotta gotta do some rows and things like that. Woo! Ah, figured it'd be a little thing. This is a pretty short track. Ooh, ooh. Ah, dip. Ah, dip, he got me. Oh well, oh well. Yeah, charity stream went pretty well, you know. We didn't we didn't get a ton of donations, but we got some stuff in there. And I'm donating my hair. I'm going to be donating $319 because it was a uh, <sighs> the the way the, originally my plan was $10 per um, hour that it would take me. And then I was like, that might end up being too much. So I was like, okay, I'll do a dollar per hour. And then I was like, well, that sounds stingy. So how about uh a dollar per hour, and then I'll double it anytime I get a game over. And then I wasn't getting any game overs because I got so many one ups that I was like, ah, this is feeling stingy. Let's double it at every death. And then at Rusty Bucket Bay, I was like, I can't double it. Let's just say for every death, it's another dollar. So at the end of the game, I had 28 deaths. So 29 times the 11 hours it took to complete it $319. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit to make that donation, but it will be happening, so, you know, you can check my Twitter or Discord for receipts. 
and all of that. And yeah, if you go and watch the last stream, it was like 12 and a half hours. It's got the entirety of Banjo-Kazooie, 100%, you know. And, uh... Uh... At the end of it, I cut my hair, so you can watch that too. Have a good time. And then, yeah, I really needed to take a break. And yeah, I'm, I'm just not gonna do Sundays anymore because I, Sundays are always super dead, really, so it's like... You know, why do that when I could do Fridays and Saturdays, which people are more into, and then I could do just like a day in the middle of the week. And Monday tends to be slower for work for me, so works out, works out. And I'm gonna be staying up a little later, just kind of shifting everything up now that I can hit the gym later at night, rather than having to get up really early, in, really early in the morning to do it. So I'll also be able to stream a little later. But as always, you know, let me know what you guys think about the schedule. I can adjust as needed. I'm really open to whenever, like, I make my own schedule, so... Something would work better for you guys, like... I'd love to be able to stream more often. And the goal is always is to entertain, so the more people can see it, like, the better... Better, uh, we'll be able to do that, so... Whatever time works for people, it's always kind of a, a gamble because everybody has different schedules and everything, you know? I'm also, I'm working on um, Root, which I think, yeah, I've played a bit of that on here before, the digital version. It's my favorite board game, and um, there is a there is a tabletop RPG of it now made by MakePie Games, which is... Whoop, which is uh, uh, powered by the apocalypse, which is a system I really love. And, whoa, what was that? That's not what I hit. Um, it's the one that Taz Amnesty was under, and Taz Amnesty is like my favorite Taz arc of the ones I've listened to. You know, I, I never finished uh, graduation and anything after. And my, my specifically favorite Taz episode is still The Ballad of Bigfoot, which is an Amnesty episode. Um, you know, it's like a spin-off, but it's still great. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get a group together and do a stream of that tape, or do a campaign on the stream of that uh, TTRPG campaign. And, yeah, I hope y'all will be interested in that. Yes! Oh, that was very close. That was, ah, uh, where's my phone? I can't marker it because I don't have my phone here. Oh, well. Yeah, where did I put my phone? It probably fell out of my pocket. These shorts I'm wearing, the pockets are like weird, like a weird angle, so my stuff is constantly falling out of them. But yeah, I don't know when I'll do that. It's going to be based on when the group is able to meet, you know, but yeah, it's been a while since I've DM'd anything. I I am really excited about this system and this setting, so I'm looking forward to it. My hope, frankly, is that I'll be able to take the time and draw up everybody's characters. So I'll work with them to, like, make their characters and then, uh... We'll actually have portraits for all of them and stuff, and fan art would be cool. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. It'll basically be kind of podcast style. I'll do it on here. So, there will be visuals. We're going to do it in Roll20, probably. Um, you know, it's a, a, uh, da, 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 what do you call it? It's a... Uh, it is powered by the apocalypse, so it's like mostly like D6s and. Oh, can I get him? Ah, dodged right by it. Yeah, it's, it's more talking than anything, you know. There's not a ton of rolling in powered by the apocalypse. There will be some, but like most of it is based around, you know, uh, keeping the conversation flowing. Because all a tabletop role-playing game is, really, is uh, collaborative storytelling. 
You know, you're just like telling a story, you're playing different characters, you're coming up with stuff, and then the dice are there just to add a level of like uh, complexity to it, you know, like randomness. Like you could certainly do that, but it's like, it's very difficult when writing a story, especially when you are a character in that story to, uh, to just be like, yeah, something bad happens to them. And it's like, what? I don't want anything bad to happen to my guy. Oh, myself with banana. But you know what? Sometimes something bad makes for a better story. And so that's why you use the dice so that when there's something that th is uncertain, who knows how it's gonna turn out, you know? To be better or worse, and having that, that level of randomness helps to facilitate the kind of flaws and like problems that make for compelling stories. I am definitely not gonna make it on this. Damn, this is always the one that gives me the most trouble. Ah! It's usually, it's usually Icy Icy Outpost that I end up not getting the, the first on. All right, we're gonna quit. Give it another shot from the top. This is a pretty short cup. It only took me like 10 minutes, I think. Yeah. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah, every other course, I can pretty reliably get first on. I see, I see Outpost is just, that's the Troublemaker, and it's the third one. I prefer having the Troublemaker the first, or I'll, I'll take second, but third? Third is just so, so annoying. Oh well, not much to really do about it. Ooh, got a nice draft. Yeah, I just gotta, I gotta pay more attention when I get there. If I fail too much at it, I could probably just like sit and grind out on that particular track of free play. You know, try and learn a little bit more of uh, its ins and outs. There's like some shortcuts and stuff that I'm a little hesitant to try out. Because they're, uh, you know, they're like blind drops, which is scary. Figure it out sometime. Ooh. The big thing about doing this in the evening is that I just eat dinner. So, like, I'll be okay and everything, but I'm just like, ooh, feeling that, feeling that. Not quite food coma, but just like, Lack or a lack of energy. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. It's also, I did like some ab workouts at the gym yesterday, so my abs are really sore. So it, I keep feeling like, oh, my stomach's really upset because uh, that area hurts. And then I flex my abs, and I realize, like, nope, it's just. It's just my abs hurting. I gotta... Yeah, I gotta get back to hitting the gym regularly. I was just doing it pretty good for a while. I was doing going like three or four times a week. Um, but then like, after, after I got back from my Christmas trip, I was just like, well, everybody's gonna be there. You know, trying to get their their New Year's resolution done, so I should wait a month for all the people who end up giving up on that. Not to disparage, you know, it's good to try and be healthy, and whatever reason you have for it is a good thing. It's just like, it's just realistic that most people are going to give up on their resolution after a month or so, if not less. So, yeah, and then I ended up going to a doctor, and uh, getting prescribed some s medicine that ended up putting me out real bad, which is what I've been dealing with for like a couple months now. Because I've just been feeling really, 
gross, having some weird digestion issues. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much just the, the medication that I didn't really need that bad. It was just some really hardcore allergy and uh, asthma medication, which I don't have asthma, and my allergies are not that bad, so. I mostly just ended up messing my liver up for a while. And that was really frustrating. But I'm doing much better. I have, I have a lot more energy. My digestion is not fully, fully back up to speed, but it's it's certainly better. Um, yeah, and I'm streaming again. That's why there was like a big gap in my streaming is because I was just, just so out of it. I was like sick and low energy and just anxious because of all the nonsense happening to me. I don't know. It's frustrating because I was like, literally I went to the doctor to get a physical because I was like, I should start worrying, or I should start thinking about my health more and actually like seeing professionals. Um, because I hadn't had like a non-sick visit to the doctor in like, basically my entire like adult life. And now that I have insurance, I'm like, maybe I should get it. And, uh, yeah, it ended up being a bad idea because it ended up uh, kind of causing some health issues. So that's pretty frustrating, but whatever. But that's, you know, it, what? Ah, oh, dip. Oh, I'm not going to make it now. Where am I? Nope. Oh, oh, I might have been able to. I let go because I thought I was going to coast over. Well, we're going to have to give that one another shot. Water. It's good to hydrate, kids. And if at any point you'd like to have me hydrate, I have a hydrate function now. So, go for it whenever. I don't even care. Granted, I'm like constantly hydrating on these streams, so it's not really that uh, big a deal. Bring that down a little bit. One thing I appreciate about my setup in here is that my eyeline on the camera, looking up there, looks like I'm looking at the the actual feet on the screen because I have you guys like my monitor and camera on a MacBook to my right and then I actually have the game on a computer monitor directly in front of me so uh, no, I, I think it's a I think it's a pretty cool thing. Like everybody's like looking straight on with the camera or something, but like doing it at this angle like this, like it all lines up very neat on the camera. And it I, I think it feels like like we're playing games to go. Like you're y'all are sitting on the couch with me and watching me play the game and we're just hanging out. I think that's nice. Obviously, I could do that, you know, a little bit better. That was something recently I found out that uh, the Game Grumps, they did um, they did a YouTube premium show called Good Game. It was actually mostly Jesse Cox and another eSport person. I forget her name. I always feel bad about it. I just, I'm not really into eSports, so I don't know. Um, created the series, and it's about, like, MOBA and eSports and it's comedy. And uh, it was directed, I believe, by Dan Harmon of, you know, Rick and Morty and Community and all that. And, um, yeah, originally it was just going to be other actors and the Game Grumps were just going to kind of, um, were just going to kind of be consultants or whatever. But then the Game Grumps actually, like, auditioned, they took acting classes, they took it super serious. And, yeah, so they're the main characters in it, which is great for them. 
And uh, what they did were these cool little, like, VR watch parties where they basically just set up a 360 camera in the grump room next to the couch and reacted to all the different clips of them in the show. Um, and yeah, it's pretty fun because if you watch it in VR or like, um, or like for me, I watched it on my iPad and if you watch it on an iPad or an iPhone or just any smartphone with a, with a gyroscope or I, I just want to say motion controls basically, like you can just do it like VR. You can turn it around and move it to wherever you want to look. It's cool. Um, ah, uh, no! Dude, it's doing so well for the beginning of that. Uh, but my thing was, like, I was watching it, and I've already seen the show, which I think, you know, it's a pretty fun show. I like it. Um, but I was just, like, moving the camera around, looking at the grump room. Like, oh, what's, what's that over there? What do they got in the... It's interesting seeing, like, how they have the, uh... How they have the the audio uh, audio treatment set up. They got like foam on the walls and such, but then like right above them, they have like a rug, like a thin rug, like stuck up on the ceiling in like a frame. It's really, really interesting how they decide to do it. I I think it looks pretty neat, and it gives me some ideas. I can't do too much in here because I have. A popcorn ceiling, which, you know, kind of helps a little bit, but there's some ideas I've had. One thing I'd love to do is this guy, um, who I helped make his voiceover demo, he had, uh, like, some moving blankets with a bunch of just, like, uh, polyester foam. Like stuffing, like you'd put in a, like polyfill, like you'd put in a stuffed animal or in like a couch cushion or whatever. Um, and he like put a bunch of LED lights underneath that and like hot glued it to the moving blankets and then pinned that up on his ceiling. So it was like a bunch of like multicolored clouds on his ceiling. It was so cool. And I've been wanting to do that, but it's just like. When am I gonna find the time? For the investment, really. Like, moving blankets are pretty, pretty affordable. Like, it's all affordable stuff. It's just, like, just expensive enough, and my audio is fine. And, like, unfortunately, you guys wouldn't see it, which, if I do something like that, I'd like it to be visible on stream. But, uh, maybe someday. Maybe someday. When I'm in another place, you know? Ah, bats! Bats! What the heck was that? The bats, like, never trip me up. Ah, you... Get got. Get got, bro. Oh, he had bananas. He had bloody bananas. Oh yeah, get got. That's what I thought, Toad. You get got. And down we go. And around we go. This way. And there we go. Pretty much always go this way, right? Because there's boost pads. I think it's a little shorter, even. I don't know. Might not even need to. Might not even go back this way again.
All right. Then I don't need to really drift around this corner, which I grabbed a box there. Drifting around this corner is a good idea. And a quick zip. Don't do it there, because then I end up going a little too fast around the corner. He's gonna bonk right there. A little too late for me to take advantage of it. Ah, damn. Moving. Whoop. Uh oh. It's fine. It's fine. Ah. Jeez. Ah. Doing a terrible job on Rainbow Road here. I never really did the original Rainbow Road. Because I, I never really played a lot of uh, Super Mario Kart. Because I didn't have a Super Nintendo. I had a Sega Genesis. Um. Most of them, um, like Mario World and uh, Link to the Past, like those games are great, but I didn't play them until they were remade on Game Boy Advance. Which, some really good remakes, by the way. I would certainly recommend those versions if you can get them. And of course, like Minish Cat, Game Boy Advance was just so good, man. So many good games. DS was pretty cool, but like they added so many gimmicks and stuff that weren't super necessary. Whereas Game Boy Advance was basically like, let's just do all of the Super Nintendo games that we never got around to, basically. And lo and behold, it's great. Dip, I didn't get him. I didn't get him. Okay, well the shell didn't get me, so it's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, moving on to Icy Icy Outpost. Yeah, I think this will be my last run, and then I'm gonna switch over to the main game of the night, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, a game from Super Nintendo that I've never played, but I've heard is really good. And I got the physical version from Limited Run Games. Um, it comes with like a, a an instruction booklet, which is cool, and. 3D glasses. They said that they were the main character's 3D glasses, but that is just just a lie. They're just standard 3D glasses. His glasses come to like a point on the edge. The ones that the ones that they included are just like flat, boxy 3D glasses. Which is, you know, whatever. I didn't even care that much, but like. Man, if you're gonna make it a selling point, then you better actually include it, you know? Seems like such a cheap move. It's like when you get a pre-order through GameStop or something. Like, I got a pre-order of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, and they were like, it comes with like a cool little Lego figure that you can build. And I was like, oh sweet, I'll pre-order it for that. And then when it came time to actually pick up the pre-order, it was just a rubber keychain. They just, they just lied. They just lied. So frustrating. <sighs> oh well. Or what was it? Spotify did like Spotify the thing, and it was like some kind of weird device that you put in your car. It was basically just like a smartphone that could only play Spotify. And like. I didn't even want one, but they were like, if you sign up to hear about it, then we'll give you one for free. And I was like, well, then, okay, I guess. I'll do that. Um, and then they never sent any updates. And then just, like, after a year, they were like, uh, yeah, this promotion is actually um, null and void. You don't get it for free. But here you can buy it for 400 bucks. And I was like, fuck you. What? Are you serious? You just full-on lied about the promotion to begin with. It was never available. And then, uh, yeah, you never like even told us about it, so I don't, I don't think it even ever became a thing. I'll probably, I'll probably look it up on uh, YouTube to see if there were any tech reviews of it or whatever from people who actually got the thing. But yeah, so annoying. Like, don't do the promotion if you're not gonna actually do the promotion. 
you're just lying, and it all it does is breed contempt with the buyer. It's bad business. Bad, bad business. All right. Doing pretty good. Let's see if we can do the Hyrule... Uh, what is it? The Hyrule track... Hyrule Pre... Hyrule Circuit. There we go. I'm usually pretty good at this one. So if I don't totally screw it up... Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Haven't done that in a while. Guess I was way too early on it, huh? It's fine. Bad start at the beginning is not nearly as big an issue because there's plenty of time to catch back up. Um, yeah. This is where... This is where it really matters. I'm hoping I can get it because then that means I only have the one cup left to do before I get into the DLC. But just for the 150 CC though because I still need to do mirror mode and uh... 200 cc which i'm super dreading but you know what i'll get around to it i'll get around to it eventually ah it, just, it already took me so long to do the 150 you know that's why i was saving the mushroom so that I could just get back up because that's my big thing is my strategy is just getting a nice a nice wide gap between me and everybody else and maintaining a um, much higher max speed so that if I get guffed up by like a blue shell or whatever there's time for me to get back up to speed but yeah my acceleration is nothing I, if I like if I get stopped I am so done for most of the time. Like right there! Ah! Oh my god, this is gonna be very close. Because I keep screwing up. I keep going on the grass! Ow! Oh. Get out of here, Rosalina. Green shell. Green shell's not super useful. So it's still the beginning of the course. So it's okay. I got time. Just gotta widen the gap as usual. I will not fall for your banana tricks. Okay, okay, we're getting close to the end. I'm gonna go on the outside for this bit, because I'm always I'm always scraping around the edge there. And boom! There it is! I got one. So I got kind of a... I can't really do on purpose, but my clap got like a little hand fart going on. That's funny. I think. I don't know. But we did it. That's the lightning cup. No, no the Triforce cup. I already got the lightning cup. So yeah, only one left. Let's see it. Nice. All right, great warm up. So I'm going to switch over. Uh, I'm gonna take a break and then switch over to the other game. So don't go anywhere, don't touch that internet dial. Be right back with the main course, Zombies Ate My Neighbors in, in just a minute, sorry.
Hey, welcome back, everybody. I am Iggy Kid, and now that we're done warming up, it's time to play Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which is supposed to be super fun, classic SNES game. Sorry, I gotta move that he hood. Hey, Viv, what's up? Oh, yeah, check it out. If I, I buzzed off all my hair since I cut off the ponytail, I made sure to buzz it all down. Yeah, yeah. I sent it off today. Mail mailed it to him, so hopefully there's no issues. Hope it doesn't get lost in the mail or like I, I didn't dry it all the way or some some other nonsense. We're playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors today. Oh, and let me I almost forgot to switch back there. But yeah, gonna start growing it back out in a couple years, probably gonna donate once again. Once once it's long enough. Uh let me make sure everything is set fine. Volume seems fine. Check the chariot out. Ch charity out. Yeah. Uh, do we want to be Zeke or Julie? Ah, uh, let's be let's be Zeke. I like his look. Wow. Thanks for that. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't end up getting a ton of donations, but I'm gonna be making a big one myself because of how long it took me to get all set up uh, or finish playing the game. Hello? Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Ah! Zombie ate my me. Back off. Back off. Okay. Okay, this is fun. Are hey, you just picking up stuff? Very, uh... Very arcade -y. Picking up stuff. Saving neighbors. Gotcha. Gotcha. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm watching out for zombies. Oh, that's a jump? Okay, you can only jump sometimes, though, when you're next to one of those. Cool. Well, yeah, I appreciate it. I, uh... Yeah, I sent off my hair. I'm gonna make a sizable donation myself, and we're gonna do more charity streams in the future. Whenever my hair's long enough, we'll do more for Wigs for Kids, and uh, we'll do some others, you know. Um, my grandmother runs an animal sanctuary, so we'll probably do one for her sanctuary sometime. I gotta find something, you know, an appropriate game for it. Uh, but yeah, I already do marathon streams once a month, last Saturday of every month, so why not do them for charity too? Ain't no reason not to, you know? Where the heck are the rest of these neighbors? I'm already really liking this. This is fun. It has like it definitely has that like classic feel. Yeah. No thanks. No thanks. Am I missing? We got the like priest or whatever was over here. Whoa! What was that? <laughs> Voice acting has been pretty good. I've been uh yeah, Mondays are usually pretty slow in general, but you know, I had a few ads that I recorded today. Uh, I mean, my voice acting voice is not that different from my own. You know, it depends on what the client wants. Um, but uh, what's a band? Um, <laughs> trying to, th I'm trying to think of what uh, what the ads are like. It'd be like uh. Uh, I don't know how, but they found me at the the Winter Garden Arena. Like it's it's not that different from my own voice already. But then yeah, it could be like like that. Like uh, I don't know how they f but they found me at the Winter Garden Arena. Or uh, I don't know how, but they found me at the Winter Garden Arena. Or um, sometimes they'll ask for like I don't know how, but they found me at the Winter Garden Arena. Sometimes they'll want it like that. You know. It's just doing a voice without a script out of nowhere is is tricky. Evening of the Undead. Mm. Um, by the way, is the title and the game correct? I, I changed it in OBS here, so sometimes that doesn't that doesn't catch. Oh no! Oh, I killed the guy. Oops. What the? What is this? Ah. Okay. Okay. It's. 
Oh, I'm changing my gun. Okay, I'd much rather have this one. This one is way better than the ones I had there. Okay, so B is change the gun slash jump if there's a jump to be had. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've done some ads for YouTube, Spotify, a bunch of different places. Yeah, yeah, that is correct. Great, great, great. Uh, uh-oh. How do I heal? Why? Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, cool. Thank you for checking that. It's kind of tricky because I can't have Chrome open while I'm streaming because my computer is just not strong enough to handle it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna improve my computer once I, you know, can afford it, but I gotta save up. Then I had some, like, medical nonsense going on, so I had to save up for... I'm gonna have to save up for even longer now, but that's, you know, whatever. That's life. Anything here? Nope. Nope, I need the key, right. Ah! I'm wasting my good stuff. Where is the key? Where is the key? Some gold. Let's see, does it show anything on here? No. Nope. Okay. Wow. A lot of cash. Yeah. Back up. Back up. Back off. Cheerleader. Teacher. Teacher, give me an F minus. Whatever, I'm skateboarding. I'm not skateboarding. Can't skateboard on grass. I mean, you probably could if you were pretty good at it, but it's, it's... Ooh, I wonder what that potion does. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I d I'm able to make my own schedule, but like anytime I'm streaming, you know, there's the possibility that I'm missing out on some voiceover stuff because uh, the main place that I get voiceover work is first come, first serve, basically. So if I'm not like babysitting it and, you know, checking every few minutes or whatever, I might miss out on something, but uh, it's not too big a deal. I, uh,. Um, but I want to go in the secret area. Eh. Whatever. This is my first playthrough, so. I have done Fiverr before. I don't really like it very much. It, it's, I, I don't really like the other platform I'm working on a ton either, but the thing with the platform I'm on now is at least there's enough, like, work on it. Ah! Yep. There's enough work on it that it's less annoying, but uh, yeah, Fiverr, it was just... The clients were very difficult to work with because the thing with freelancing is always that the people who pay the least want the most from you. So they're almost never satisfied. They always want a million tiny changes and it's like at a certain point, it's just not worth the headache. Oh, I see that, I see that. See those secrets? Can I like break the glass? Maybe with a different item. Oh no, it died! Drop service? You mean like like drop shipping? What do you mean? Ah! Oh my god. Ah! It's child's play dolls. Nah, man. I, w I honestly, I wish I could sell foot picks because that would be so much easier. <laughs> and I don't, I don't even like, I don't have any kind of shame about doing something like that. It's just, uh, I have ugly, ugly feet. <laughs> they're, they're in terrible condition. I just have like weird shaped toes and stuff. So it's like, nah, nobody's going to be interested in that. Not for me. 
I actually, I have fairly kind of small feet for uh, my height. Like, um, I'm like 6'2", but I only wear like an 11 and a half shoe. So, I don't know. That's about as much as I'm going to talk about it, though. No free foot discussion. You gotta pay if you want this description of my toots. Man, this game is hard. Ah! Dead. Oh, I had an extra life, I guess. Whoa! Ah! Must be on the wrong. Yeah, I must have been not as lined up as I thought it was. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Those guys are pain. Whoa. They take so many hits. Nothing doing in here. Uh, I came from up in here. Eight point five. How tall are you though? Cause like it's it's a proportion thing, you know. Someone if someone was like five foot, but they wore like an an size eight, it's like their feet look pretty big. Aha! Tourists. This game's so hectic. I enjoy it. It's very difficult. No, ah, ah, I can't jump over the gap, I guess. Oh, is that a mini map? Oh, what the heck? I didn't know there was a mini map. That's super helpful. Okay, I was just using that as an example. I'm not saying that you're five foot. Chainsaw Hedge Maze Mayhem. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. Good lord. He's just cutting right through. Ah, ah. Oh, he dodged around. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. He does so much damage. Okay. Oh no, that didn't kill him, it just knocked him down. Oh jeez. I can understand why this game is um such a cult classic. It's super fun. Uh it's super fun, it gets started right away. That's the thing I like about like SNES games is that you know, you d they didn't make you wait for all that long to start getting into the fun or, like, anything like that. It's just, bam, we're going. Uh, can I, like, can I do something here? No, do I have to lure? Is that how this works? I have to lure the chainsaw dudes to make a path? Yeah, now that people have access to, you know, dating pretty much anyone, you know, finding people, finding someone nowadays is so much easier that people are way pickier, which is fine, you know, live your best life. Get with someone that you like, you know? But, uh, yeah, sometimes I'm like, man, ah, uh, no! Sometimes I'm like, man, standards are much, much higher. I don't know, I haven't been in the dating game for a while anyway, so I have very little to complain about. I think you would have been fine. It's also people are people um they underestimate themselves. You just gotta have confidence, you know. There is there's so many people out there that I can guarantee there's gonna be someone who will like you as you are. You know, as long as you, like, take care of yourself, have some have some confidence and self-esteem, yeah. 
somebody out there for everybody. Oh, I don't even have to hit the button to get that. Okay. Just move at it. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I don't know, it's also, it's like, Tinder is as much a community as any social media. So, like, similarly, there are still specific... It's like a specific sort of person who will go on Tinder to begin with, so they have their own particular um, standards and ideals that aren't necessarily, like, uh, as accurate to the, the, the outside world. I don't know. I never did Tinder. I did OkCupid for a while, and, you know... It was fun enough. Got some, uh, you know, got some dates out of it. Had a fun time, but it was just exhausting. My problem was always that, like, people, like, uh, nobody wanted to engage in a conversation. So anytime I wanted to talk to somebody, I had to do all of the work to keep the conversation going, and it was just exhausting. Tinder is, like, the most talked about one, but yeah, no, there's, like, a ton of different dating apps. You know, there's Hinge, or OkCupid was the one that, um, that I used because it was free. Uh, I don't know. It's fine. Um, I don't know, I've, I've have... Uh, I don't. I don't have a ton of advice for. It, frankly, my my advice with dating is always just like, just treat people with basic respect. Be yourself. You know, don't lie, because you're just gonna set yourself up for failure. That's pretty much it. I don't. I don't have anything much more to say than that. Ah, okay. You can get money out of those. Cool. So it is worth it. So are there just, like, no keys in this level, or did I just not find them? Oh! Well, gap. Jeez. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it was like Match.com, uh, I guess there was also Chemistry.com, and then it's like, well, it's pretty much only for straight people, and it's expensive. It's like, nah. Nah. None of that. No thanks. I don't know. For me, all of my most long-lasting relationships have been, uh, from volunteering. Right? Like, I've met people on dating apps, and we, you know, we'd go out, we'd have some good times, but, like, nothing ever lasted, but if I volunteered, like, um, you know, volunteered to do work at, like, a music venue or, like, a convention or something, that's when I'd meet people and that I'd end up actually dating for a while and having a much better time with. So... That's, I guess, my advice is if you want to meet people, don't go through dating apps and stuff. Just, like, go volunteer for something, you know? It's a much more organic way to meet people. And, uh, it's, it's a fun time, you know? It'll be some work, but it's a good way to spend your time. Yeah, or a hobby, like a social kind of hobby. Um, well, it's not... Okay, gay and bi people don't have lower standards. They have realistic standards. 
I'll tell you right now, so many straight dudes have like such ridiculously, that's how like incels happen. They have insanely high standards. Um, and then when like, no person is ever able to meet it because they've set themselves up for failure by expecting way too much, they get mad at the world. Rather than recognizing it's like, dude, there are so many people you're excluding if you wanted to actually get with someone, like, you have tons of options. Oh, okay. I mean, sure. I mean, that's still, but, okay. That's something I've always, like, said as well, which is that I feel like there is the amount of actually straight people is very, very low. Because almost every person who claims to be straight has at least one exception. At least one person of the same gender as them that they are attracted to. And even if it's just one, that still qualifies as not straight. It's not necessarily like, it's not like, you know, I think that's the problem that I have with it, is that it's like straight is the category, and then everybody else is the category. When in reality, most people are not straight, because most people have at least one exception. And it's just the fact that like, well, that exception is just not enough for us to qualify as gay. And it's like, you don't have to qualify as gay, or even bi, or any of that. You're just not straight, and at a certain point, we need to recognize that that's... That's just life. That's just people. They, like, we're attracted to other people, and sometimes gender is not as big an issue as people want to make it out to be. Yeah, I mean, that's like, um, that's romanticism versus sexuality. Like, they're... That's the big thing, too, is that, like, you can be, like, uh, bisexual, uh, heteroromantic. So you're only interested in dating people of the opposite gender in a romantic sense, but, um, but then you are willing to have a sexual relationship with someone of the same gender. Like, the, it's just different categories, you know? That's what I'm saying. It's so splintered off, and people make the jokes of, like, oh, there's, like, a million genders, and it's like, yeah, because at a certain point, we need to recognize that every single person has a unique relationship with their own gender and sexuality, and categorizing can help, but in reality, like, every person is going to have their own unique take on it. And trying to put people into the various categories just ends up leading in, like, dissatisfaction with life. Like, that's- that's my larger thing, is that I don't really- I- I, you know, pay attention to the labels, I do everything I can to respect and, um, educate myself. But for myself personally, I don't really, I don't really have any specific thing because my relationship with all of it is complex enough that I'm like, whatever, you guys, you guys can do your own thing with it, you know? I'm rambling. I'm, I'm having a hard time. Uh, this game is very hectic and then I have a lot of feelings about the subject. Where's the last one? Okay, they're over here. Oh, how did I miss you? I mean, there might be people who try and create a new gen- But that's my thing, is like, you don't even need to give your gender identity a specific name or label. Like, just go with what you feel comfortable with. Educate people if you want to, but, like, don't feel obligated to educate people, because that's not really your obligation as a person. 
tell them as much as you need to feel comfortable with how they address you and all that, but, like, otherwise, don't worry about it. You know? Just be happy being you. Yeah, it's fine. I, there's a lot to say, but it's just, like, just respect people, you know? Educate, like, in general, when it comes to, like, pronouns and things, which is usually the hot button topic, it's like, just don't be rude. If someone sp directly says, like, hey, this is how I'd like to be referred to, don't be a jerk about it. Like, there's no, no need for it. You're going out of your way. You're spending more energy to just make the world a worse place. Just don't do it. Well, why are you wasting your time and energy when you could just as easily go with the flow and, you know, let it all work out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't affect if it genuinely does not affect you to just trust that they know more about themselves than you do. Like... What what does it help to deny people their own identity and their own feelings about themselves? Like what 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 are you gonna add to that? You know. Um. What? What was the thing I was thinking about a minute ago? Um. That was something. <coughs> I remember. Um. There was there was a book. I read as a kid uh, about Taoism. The it's not really a religion; it's more like an ideology, I guess. But um, uh, it's called the Tao of Pooh, and it's about uh, Winnie the Pooh, basically, as an example for the Taoist nature and all sorts of things. And I liked it up to a point. Um, but then the guy started, like, clearly injecting his own weird ideas into it, and it was like, I don't know about that. Like, he started going off about, like, the radiation from electronics and how that's, like, destroying, destroying us or whatever, and it's like, I don't, what are you talking about, man? Um, or, uh, what, what, or, like, he went off about, like, Oh, we used to just have the word fireman, but now we got firefighter. Why don't you guys just go with the flow, like the like the rock in the river? And it's like, why don't you go with the flow? Like, why are you spending all this time in a book arguing against the change of times? Like, that is not... That is going against the principles you've specifically just said. Things are changing, so just let the world go on and can, like, let it pass by you rather than, like, fighting against it the way you, like, the example, one of the things he said was, um, there's a, a, a Taoist fable about uh, an angry horse in a road and it's just, it's blocking the way, everybody's freaking out, they're like, what do we do? How do we, ah, no, ah, dang it. What, what do we do to get rid of this horse? You know, what do we do? And they go to a Taoist master, and he he looks at the situation, he looks at the horse, he looks at the street, and then he just walks down the street next to it. And that That's the thing. But, like, with his weird thing about, like, language and radiation and all that, it's like... He's going to try and go through the horse rather than going around to the other street and just continuing on with his life without making a big fuss about it. It's just so strange to me. What the- eh, hey, what the heck? What the, hey, what, huh? Who the heck? Who's this? Hey, wait a minute, where are you? Ah, what is going on here? Whoa! Whoa, what? Oh, they're like invasion of the body snatchers. Got it. Okay. Okay, I gotcha. I was very confused. Why am I picking up plates and forks? That's not helpful. I can't stop a zombie with a plate and a fork. No, 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 no. 
Oh, this is super satisfying. It's got a ton of ammo, but it goes by, it goes through it so fast, so I gotta keep an eye on that, I guess. Where are all of these neighbors that these zombies are trying to eat? Whoa, 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 whoa! No! Dip. Oh, I see. This is where I... Oh, is that a game over? Man. Ah. Uh, drizzled some hair. Er, pff. Drizzled some water. Drizzled some hair. That doesn't even make sense. Alright. Let's give this another shot. This game is very hard. I do like this starting out area. Whoop! It gives you a ton of the items that you need and like, lets you figure stuff out. Like, I've been able to pick all of this up just by hitting buttons. There's no tutorial or anything. And it's pretty, pretty clear what's going on. You run around, you shoot at a zombie. It's also, it also really helps that I, uh, already play video games, so I know, I know the general idea of, like, I'm probably gonna shoot. Middle, middle management. I, I've never actually worked in, like, an office or anything that has middle management, so what's the deal there? I, I know it's, it's like a ton of bureaucracy and stuff, but, like, what's, what's your experience? Are these neighbors at? I feel like I should use the mini map, but there's no reason not to, I guess. Like you can see through it pretty pretty easily. And that's way ahead of its time, actually. Having a mini map in a game from the SNES? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it it seems like it's pretty useless. Like it's a just a way to like make jobs, which in and of itself, the the concept of making jobs is so asinine. But then, yeah, it's just like, it's basically just a way to offload work from the people up top who claim that they deserve a much bigger paycheck, but then when they actually have the opportunity to do more work or whatever by, you know, actually managing people, they just offload it to somebody else. Yeah, pr after a certain point, after a certain point in a company's structure, everything above that is like so little work. CEO is one of the least work positions that you're really ever going to do. Because like, yeah, technic I, I mean like work to money specifically, right? A CEO makes such a huge salary. And the majority of their work is just managing other people. Or, like, I don't know, th that's the thing, is, like, all, almost everything that they do is going to be done by somebody else. Eh. High-value decisions sounds like propaganda made by CEOs to me. Like... It's like all the NFT and like crypto stuff. It's like, you can tell me that stuff has value all you want, but unless you can prove it in a feasible way, I have very little um, faith that that's actually, that there's actually value to it. Well, I'm not directly comparing that. Like, obviously, NFTs have even less value, but, uh, um, but yeah, CEOs, it's like, uh, look at Elon Musk, the most successful CEO in the world. What decisions has he made? Let's, uh, let's make a train that goes really fast. Let's make an electric car. Let's make a flamethrower and uh let's go to space it's like wow really all of like 
the biggest, like, third grader wishes of stuff that we already have all of the technology to do. It's the, the main thing he added is his branding. say that, but the, considering how many companies can switch out their CEO with very little effort or issue, like, yeah, mergers, budgeting, investor meet, all of that, like, none of that is actually, like, that relevant to the day-to-day -day running of a business. Like, I know that, it, oh, it makes the business more money in the end, but, like, I don't care as much. I'd rather the business be a, like, make better products than make more money. I'm sure that may means a lot more to investors and stockholders and stuff, but me as a consumer, on a level where I'm only pretty much ever going to be a consumer, uh, I don't really care. Make better products. Like, so much of the decisions that companies make, at least here in America, is to make things cheaper, make things worse. Like, make things, make things for as little money as possible, for as low of quality as possible, without losing customers. Like, everything, everything I can think of has gone down the tubes in terms of quality lately. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like... Like, genuinely, I, I've been thinking over and over again, like, every single thing that I've bought or remember as a kid, like, it literally has gotten worse. It's not a nostalgia thing. If you find something, like, if you find technology or, like, products from the 90s and before, they were way higher quality, much just much better build quality, much better value for your money. Like, everything just worked better, would last longer, and now, wh now what? Every everything is super cheap, breaks super easy, has to get replaced all the time. And why? So that it's cheaper to produce, so that they can not cost as much money? It's bad business. It's bad business to make a bad product. And to make your products worse in the hopes that no one notices long enough for you to sell more. Like, I'm, I'm always so- Oh my god, I hate these dolls! They take so many hits and now they do that? Stop! I mean, these- Bezos didn't make AWS, though. A, t a team of programmers and other people advised him to to sign off on it, but so many other people did the work creating that. So many other people did put the work in to create that, uh, designed that, put all of it together. He signed off on it and, like, probably checked in every now and then, but, like, even if it was his idea, which is almost, almost impossible... Like, at most, he was like, what if we, uh, what if we make website? Like, it would have been that at most. It's not like he was sitting there, like, putting together a framework or something. No, he was like, he was just listening to the people who knew what they were doing, gave them the money, signed the contracts, and that was it. I could do that. If I had the money, I would do that. If I had the money, I would do so many things. I'd be funding productions for by artists who could make amazing stuff. There's so many different technologies that could be made if the money was more spread around that aren't being made because it's all owned by people who are more interested in making more money than making good things. No, I find that unlikely. I find that very unlikely. Bezos, like, just because he hired all of those people, that's the thing, is he still took a massive share for just having the idea when everybody else did so much work, to more work to create those things. 
Like, I don't need a, a perfect market. What I want is a perfect world, or at least a better world where people, people who actually do the work get the money for doing the work, you know? Or at least, like, their work goes back to them rather than going mostly, like, 99% of the money going back to a CEO who had one idea one time and put a get together a bunch of people. Like, what risk was he really doing? He was already a very wealthy person. Like, yeah, yeah another failed business. Like, if Elon... If Elon Musk right now is setting up to lose a ton of money messing up Twitter. Like, every idea he's had is terrible, and it's all about monetizing. It's all to try and make more money off of a platform that people only tolerate because it's free. But it's not gonna matter in the end, because he is obscenely rich, so... Yeah, he'll lose some money, but, like, even having... <clears throat> even having a billion dollars, you can... What the... I touched... I got him! No, most people would not choose money over quality if they could help it. <laughs> if they if there were options if there were options out there that were of higher quality, people would buy them, but they're not. There's there are so few options now that are actually of high quality. Everything is a compromise and it's so so annoying. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah. What's the what is this example you're building up here? That you can buy a cheaper PC? Cuz like no, you a lot of people can't spend 5k on a PC. Most of my 20s, which is to say the last decade plus of my life, I never once had close to $5,000. I never had $1,000 in the bank for most of my 20s. I would have, like, any money that I got would basically immediately go to bills. No, people would not rather get something cheaper. The vast majority of people, if they had the choice, if they actually had the choice, they had the money, money was no option, would get the higher quality thing. But the thing is, the higher quality thing is always obscenely more expensive. Like, a, like that, $5,000 on a PC versus like $500. That's 10 times as much. And it's really absurd that we expect people to spend 10 times as much for something of even decent quality. Like, it's... That's what I'm saying, yeah. That's what I'm saying, is it's not a real choice. Because most people don't have that choice. Most people do not have money. Most people have enough money to live, and that's it. So it's not a real choice. It is... It is an illusion, pretending that there's something there. It wasn't th the same back then, though. It really was not. Like, the Nintendo Switch, all right? Compare the Nintendo Switch to even the original Nintendo DS. Nintend the Nintendo DS could take a massive beating and still be fine for decades. There are a million stories of people losing their Switch, it gets snowed on, rained on, buried, dog pees on it, and it just, like, or rather, losing, like, their DS or Game Boy, and then it works just fine. It works perfect. Meanwhile, the Nintendo Switch is like a flimsy little tablet that'll shatter if you even look at it too close. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's what I'm, well, that's my problem, too, is that this is one of the better places in the world to live, and it still sucks. It's still so much worse than it would be if people actually cared about each other. If, I don't know, the most rich people in our society had, like, the gumption to actually help others. Like, if, uh, let's say Jeff Bezos spent a single billion on helping our infrastructure or our medical care, 
Like, a single billion would go so far, and it would mean nothing to him. That's 1% of his money. That's like $10 for most of us. It would still go farther than it does now. And besides, if he paid taxes, it would be like 40 billion that would be going into our government. But he doesn't. He gets tax cuts because of all of his charity donations. And literally the only reason behind that is because our country was made by rich people for rich people. A hundred miles of road is still like a lot. That's still a lot. And that would just be a start. Like, he makes millions every minute and gives none of it back. If he was, like, actually paying some amount of his taxes, we, it would actually go to a lot of better stuff. Getting very heated. Like, actively, I feel warm from this discussion. And I know, I'm not really, like... I can tell that I'm not, like, making the best points right now, and that's partially because I'm distracted by playing the game. Okay, but yeah, that's one guy, though, as well. There are thousands of billionaires in the world, and there are at least a few a hundred of them in the U.S. that could be helping out with that, but they're not because they can get away with it because our infrastructure, our, our government is built around letting them keep their money because they know that if they force, if they force rich people to actually give back, then they are also going to have to give back because our government is made up of people who are very well off. I am consistently of the mind that the government positions should not pay better than the lowest paid people in our country. Like, full stop. They should make fast food wages so that if they want to make more, they have to actually make things better for everyone. I mean, they should at least pay taxes, but frankly, I think no person should have more than a million dollars. Period. I think all all wealth should be capped out at a million dollars. Yeah, we do need the best of the best in the government positions, and we don't. They get paid six figures or more, and they do sloppy garbage work that makes our lives worse. That's, like, that's just the American mindset. Like, if a, if a company is doing bad, what do they do? They lay off all of their lower employees. You know what they do in Japan? If their company is doing bad, the, the top management takes a pay cut. Or they don't get paid at all. Like, when the Wii U was doing poorly, Nintendo's CEO and executives stopped taking money until they figured it out. Because that's, first off, that means a huge cut in cost. Oh my god, I'm going in circles. That's a huge cut in cost because they get paid so much, and it incentivizes them to actually do something. So similarly, until they fix stuff so that people can actually live off of the minimum wage in this country, uh, they should just have to deal with that. They should have to live that and be incentivized to actually fix stuff. See, yeah, again, businesses are stupid. Money ruins everything. Anytime that money is an incentive, it always results in worse things. Period. Anytime someone can think of a way to make themselves more money in the long run versus making something better, making the world a better place, they're always going to go for the money thing. 
because people are selfish. You have to actually build systems in a way that incentivizes people's selfishness to work for everyone. Like, this is, this is just plain game design at this point. Like, it's... It's, it's straight-up game theory. People are gonna be selfish. They're gonna think in their own self-interest. Um, so you have to, like, actually create a system. You have to design the system around that fact. Rather than hoping for the best and just letting the rich and the currently in power work their own stuff. With one million, you can survive. You can more than survive on one million. Let's say even one million a year, right? In most places, most places in the world, a million a year is obscene luxury. Even in the US, in most places in the US, it is, it is a incredibly comfortable living having seven figures a year like that. There is no need for more money than that because guess what? Look at look at Bezos and Musk. All that money they've got is just moldering away in a bank account. Well, not even moldering away because most of it is stocks and stuff. Most of it's speculative that doesn't actually exist. You know, maybe they'll give it to their kids one day, but then it's like, great. So it's switched hands from one person who's never going to use it to another person who's never going to use it. I mean, I don't make a million a year. I make barely like five figures a year on a good year freelancing. And I live pretty comfortably on that. So if I was making a million a year, I'd be perfectly comfortable. I would not need to make more. <laughs> God, I ran out of weed whacker. What time is it? Well, it's just before the top of the hour, so I am, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break. I will BRB in just a minute, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial, I'll be our back with more. Zombies ate my neighbors in just a minute.
All right, I am back. I got a little heated before the break there. But, uh, yeah, let's get some more zombies eating neighbors. Or, well, let's not get zombies eating neighbors because we're trying to save them. Hold on. Adjust my camera there a little bit since I'm leaning back now for comfort. Oh, nothing. Yeah, this game is really fun. It's pretty hard, but, like... I can understand its reputation. I feel like I need to get better at the other uh, weapons. Feels like they expect you to do a lot more with them. Oh, and open those up more. I've been missing those. I usually do jumping jacks on break to just kind of like, you know, warm up my legs, keep my blood flowing, you know. Uh, but since I just ate dinner, I'm, I'm still kind of digesting, so I don't wanna, don't wanna upset my tummy. But my stomach is doing all right, which is, which is good. I, I've had a lot of upset stomach lately. Come on, where's the... Yeah, there we go. I'll oh, write the guy in the pool. Let's go for it. And then I think there's a dog over here. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. And two cheerleaders. Let's get out of here. This feels very 90s, you know? It has that kind of... That kind of radical vibe, you know? Like, teachers suck. Look at how comical everything is. Cartoons. Yeah. you say that, but that's a really pessimistic statement, honestly. It, you can have a lot more faith in people. The reason people suck now is because the system is built to incentivize them to suck. And it has been since the beginning. Like, capitalism as it stands has not actually been existing that long in human history. And things... There have been many, many better systems that are just getting ignored because they don't help the people in power as much. Like, in reality, just like all of these businesses that just make stuff that's just good enough that people buy it, that's just barely enough that they don't think about the fact that things could be better. Similarly, capitalism is designed in a way so that it, it keeps people just just happy enough, just alive enough, that they never think that there is a better option out there if we just started from scratch or redesigned things in a radical way. I mean, I'd like to see some real communism, frankly. Like, most people's examples are China, which is, uh, is still capitalist. It's just capitalist for the people up top and uh, the USSR, which, again, like, it was capitalist. Like, they still had to make money. As long as there is one, as long as everybody is interacting with capitalist states, they still need to work with their money. In a communist, an actual communist state would be one where they don't need to make money. They don't need to spread wealth in the same way. There are ways that you can do it where there's literally just barter. There's literally just people making things to help others. Yeah, on paper it's good because on paper there aren't any rules. That's the thing, frankly, is it's it's always with some kind of leader, and then the leader will always take advantages. 
That's why if we want communism to work, it has to be anarcho-communism, where everybody has a say, everybody is able to do what they need to. We don't need leaders. Everyone is on the same level. People, um, everyone gets what they need. And sometimes they can get what they want. If they like, you know, if someone like say, uh, likes making crafts, they can get the supplies, they can learn how to make the crafts. And that is still a thing that can exist. If somebody likes making computers, making video games, things can still work. I mean, there are people who like being chemi- like, that's the thing, is people assume that no one would want to do a lot of different jobs, but, like, that's just because the, in our current system, those jobs suck. They don't pay half as well as they should, so everybody who's living through that is, like, subsisting. Plus, I don't know if you understand, but fast food work is- it sucks. Like, I would much rather be a chemical engineer over a fast food worker because fast food work is grueling, backbreaking labor that messes you up over time. Like, you're constantly on your feet getting up and down and up and down. It is super physical. It's super exhausting. It's Everybody seems to have this concept of like, yeah, it's just standing there and you turn the burger over. That's it. But it's like, no, you're also cleaning. You're also running huge boxes back and forth. You're getting stuff from underneath you're having to deal with customers um you're having to unload entire trucks of inventory like it's not easy work i mean you can say that most don't need to that's why, like, currently, stuff is falling apart. Currently, you get paid pretty well to be a scientist in a STEM field. Like, not great, but you can make, like, six figures. And nobody wants to. We have a huge shortage of scientists, like, vital scientists, because it's not a glamorous position, and there's other things that pay better. Or people don't have access to the education that they need to be qualified to be a scientist. Like, there are, I'm sure there are tons of people who would love to be very important scientists and doctors, but they just can't afford the schooling because it's crazy expensive, and they make peanuts, they make nothing, and it's killing themselves. Like, fast food work pays almost nothing, but it destroys your body, so you're too exhausted to actually go and do other stuff to try and better yourself, and you can't afford to take an education or anything. So it's just a self-defeating cycle. It's just another way to keep poor people down. And then you try and convince them that their work has less value and they deserve to be paid less despite doing so much more work than a ton of the people in middle management, like you were talking about, who are making tens, hundreds of times more. Like, you just assume most wouldn't. You assume that. But at the same time, the main reason so many people decide not to go into STEM fields is because of the amount of money and time. Like, there are tons of kids who wanted to be marine biologists and doctors and volcanologists and scientists and couldn't be because their family was broke or they just didn't have the time or energy because they were in a place where doing that would involve so much more investment of their time and energy. Or they literally just didn't have access to a school that would allow that, like a private school that they could pay more for because they were just in a bad location. I mean, I, it depends on the company, first off. Second off, 80000 is still eight times more than most people in food service make despite middle management dudes sitting on their ass and doing nothing while fast food workers are absolutely wrecking their body to serve people food that they're not even grateful for. 
and everybody tells them that they're they're lazy because it's a it's supposed to be an easy job. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, there we go. There was a shortcut over here. Yeah. Is there like another way to get through these? Oh, I didn't even I don't even remember running into this. Uh, no, no, don't kill them. Don't kill tourists. Ha ah, ah, ha! Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, okay, okay. uh, dip. How do I get to the teacher? Ah, whatever. I don't know. I, I, it just frustrates me because there's so many better systems that we could implement within capitalism even. There are numbers to back them up. There's so many stats and surveys that show that paying people better would overall be better for everybody. It would just make the economy work so much better because people would actually be able to do things because they could afford to do stuff and they could stimulate the economy all the time. Even if that's all you care about is like making the economy better and stronger, Giving people more money does that. Raising wages does that because people can pay for stuff. Any company that is raising their prices because they're having to raise wages are fools. They could cut up to 50% of what the CEO makes, spread that out to all of the people at the lowest rung, not raise any prices, and guess what? Now all the people on the lowest rung are making enough money that they can purchase your company's products that they couldn't afford before. It's a win-win for all of you. But they refuse to do that because it would mean a slight period of less than growth. Because publicly traded companies have to see growth. They can't just function as a okay company that breaks even. They have to constantly, constantly make more money or else they're considered a failure. It's very frustrating. It's very frustrating, all of it. Oh my god, I hate this level. Like, I don't know, I feel like there's probably an easier way to direct these guys. Like, there's probably a method you're supposed to use to direct them to break through the parts that you want, but I don't know what it is. I don't kill the baby. Over there. Uh, ugh, break through. Hey, hey, I'm right here. Gimme. Okay. Uh, should be using the, yeah. Knock him down. Oh my god, come on, he's right there. There we go. Crap, you have to hit them point blank to take them out. There we go, there we go. Oh, no, how do we get in there? Is there like spots you can break through or something? I feel like you can't have to just rely on these guys. I'm pretty sure the last one is Daddy Grillin' up here. But I can't get in there. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, there he is. Hold on, can I get... I don't have a key. It's fine, it's fine. Now this is my... Now this is the one that I've been having trouble on. G-H-R-T. All right, we're going to start actually using the passwords. Weird kids on the block. Okay, we got to get the weed whacker right away. And use it. Let's not waste it before uh, I find the things I got to actually get through. All right, watch out, watch out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't touch me. 
Don't touch me. How does the popsicle work? Wow. Oh, I like the popsicle. The popsicle's working for me. Uh, wait, I just got back to the top of the map. Ha ra 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 ra. Ha ra 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 ra. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just. No, no, no. Oh, I got him. I got him. Okay. Oh, well, that got rid of him at least. Ooh, there's a gap. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Probably need to heal up in a minute, but I don't want to use it too early. Hey, get out of here, little dude. Get out of here. Okay. Okay, got him. Healing up. Oh, sweet. Another uh, health pack here. Ah, dip. I didn't want to use that. Ah! This is the worst. Why am I not? I should just have the mini-map open. It just automatically goes away. Ah, no. Okay. Oh, wow, I just, uh, have a lot of these. Yeah, I like the popsicle. Oh, I thought I saw somebody in here. I might have. They might have gotten killed when I wasn't paying attention. Okay, that one doesn't open. That one does. And then we need... ...our way through. Safe. Oop. And another health box. And another key, nice. How am I meant to get in there? It's probably a way through the hedge maze. If I had to guess. Ow, ow, dip. Is there a way? Okay, that's how you change the... Um, let's switch back to Popsicle. Cool. There's a baby. Bust through here. Nothing I'm doing. There's one more neighbor somewhere around here. Oh, oh somewhere around there. Ow, oh, I gotta jump. Let's actually... Come on. There we go. Old crowd control. God. Back off. Thank you. Yeah, I don't like the arc of this one, but the splash is nice. Just gotta... Ooh, uh, uh, there's a baby. Ha, 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 ha. Back off, back off. No, no, no. Ah, nope. Alright, healing up. There we go. Alright, next password. Oh, I didn't explain. More shocking than level 5. Level 6, the Pyramid of Fear. I'm just going mummies. Okay. What's this, like, raspberry looking thing? Let's give that a shot for a little minute. Oh, oh, it's like a cherry bomb? Ooh, the cooldown on it is very, very slow. Yeah, not a huge fan of that. Hello, folks. Here to save you. I hope you're ready for it, because it's quite lovely. Ah, oh, dip. Ooh, a plate. I like the plate. I'm always a fan of a throwing disc. Yeah, 
Uh, how do I get in there? Uh... No, 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 thank you. Cool, I don't know why it flashes sometimes. I think it's based on whether or not you can actually see them. Nope. Those are on timers. Yeah. No thanks. Yeah. Back wolf. Okay, we got first. Keep on moving. Ooh, nope. Don't die, don't die. Locked in? I guess up here. Can go around. I can. Okay. Can't do anything over there. No, nope, nothing over there. I think this is just a dead end. What, what am I supposed to do now? Can't do anything to open this. Bazooka it open. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Come on now. There you are. Oh, there's another one? Where's the last guy? Oh, there he is. Okay. Did pretty well. Dr. Tongue's Castle of Terror. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah. That's what I figured. There'd be somebody right around the corner. What do these other ones do? Let's try... Let's try that. Whoa! Oh, great. Glad I wasted that. Let's, uh... Clown. Oh, it's like a decoy. Whoops. Ah, heal, heal! Ah. No, oh, that's a game over. Dip. Well, okay. Ah, I wish I'd remember the password. Yeah, let's. Let's go another run. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Whoops. What? do to really I, I guess using more of the uh the different weapon types why doesn't it just why does it not just default i really wish it would just default to having the mini map open 
Like, it's not that much of a nuisance, but it's just enough that it feels like a waste of time. Pretty sure the last few folks are up here, so let's go get them. password show up because I feel like I keep missing it hmm I don't know I've s definitely seen it so I don't I don't know why I keep missing it Is it like literally when you finish the level? I want to start using those passwords. See more of the game. Da -da -da. Bouncing kid. Yeah, see, these first couple levels are pretty simple. Very straightforward, not a lot of difficult enemies. Kind of bland, but you know, early levels in any game are going to be bland. Um, you know, usually like a grass level, desert level, whatever. But, got a little more going on here. So, okay, wait, if I could bazooka through the walls in the chainsaw level, or rather in the pyramid, could I do that in the chainsaw level as well, or do I have to rely on those guys? Because I'd rather not if I have the option. those ones. Cruel. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. No! Ah. Oh, well. Where is the password? Oh, I keep missing it. Maybe it's when I hit the exit. Terror in aisle five. Oh, there's a save function. Whoops. Yeah, come out, come out. Whoop, whoop. Ah. Uh, I think, hold on, let me actually, as always, I forget to turn on the mini-map. There is a way to bust through. I'm gonna presume. Uh, for this? Yeah! Give me that health back. Ah! Ah! Okay, that continues on even through them, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I could already see, like, a weapon wheel would have been nice in a game like this. 
so, you know, that's something that feels a bit dated, but it feels pretty slick. There's also, like, they did, like, a more recent version um, of something like this, I think, called Grab by the Ghoulies, which is, like, a dick joke. Oh, hilarious. I don't, hmm, I hate these little dolls. They're such a pain. They take, like, so many hits. They're so fast. Nothing of use in there. Why is there... Well, oh, it's apples, the, like, raspberry-looking things. Um, why is there a vat of toxic waste in my supermarket? Who allowed this? Give me the shoes. Give me the shoes. I need the kicks. Uh-oh. Hmm. Guess I can go up through here. Get ah, dip. I didn't see him there until it's too late. Heal. I guess soda. Can't get a shorty pap. Ah, oh, tears. Do I have a key? No, I don't. Uh, let's save it. I like the popsicles for uh, the body snatcher stage. Level four. Yeah, yeah, this one is the biggest pain. So let's uh, let's see what we can do. Yes, you can just blast through. So I'm gonna have a lot of those, but okay. Dip. Okay. So we can make our way through without the need of the chainsaw guys. Don't think I can make it through that. I'm not gonna waste it. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Let's, yeah, let's set up a clown. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh. there we go. Right, the clowns are gonna be pretty useful on this stage, I think. Got a shortcut through there. Last and right through. Okay, there's someone right up there that I can't get to yet. Oh no! I missed. Okay. Oh, okay. Get in through the back. Nice. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And then, uh, whoops. There we go. Let me get past. So I can save her. This went way better with the clowns in the, uh, kaboom. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, he went through. So that's actually very helpful. Let's get around here. Get the grilling dad. Daddy O Grill. Nice. Oh, let me sit up straight. Oh, okay, so the password's only every, like, four, five levels, I guess? Every fifth level? Okay, I'm gonna need that. Let's get the popsicles on deck.
Yeah, popsicles are great for taking these guys out. They've got an arc, but it's not such a severe one as the uh, soda pops. It'd be nice if they had more splash damage, but you know what? You can't get everything you want in this life of ours. And I'm just gonna go around. Yeah, we'll just go around and save that key for a better door. There's some around here, I'm sure. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Just get out before it matters that much. Don't worry about him. Excuse me. See her. Uh, where is the? There we go. Yeah, I don't need to get rid of all of it. Just enough to get through. And then I don't need that because I can just walk around. It wasn't even worth it. That's why I hate so much about those ones is that, like, they're... Not only are they a waste of time, they're a waste of health. You need all you can get. Ah, dip. Ah, dip. here for some stuff. God dang, dip through, uh, switch back to health packs, because I'm probably going to need one. Whoa. And then, oh yeah, I should probably have that on deck. Okay, get my way through here. I don't know what the mystery potions are, but... Oh, uh, can I actually use the soda on this? No, it can go over the walls, though, so that's cool. a huge ton of range on these popsicles either. Where's the last guy? Where's the last guy at? There he is. Hey, bud. All right, there we go. shocking than level five the pyramid of fear all right uh let's well, let's wait just a minute because i don't want to waste a heal when i could have uh could have gotten another hit out of it i don't see him down there Mummies take three popsicles. Right. Oh, this guy got last last time. Oh, nothing in there, eh? Alright, you're faster than the zombies, so they're actually not that big a problem. Okay, now I gotta heal. Ah. Sometimes he won't throw the popsicles. Let's switch to fire exit. Let's check out the fire extinguisher. How does it work? How do we get, I guess I'm gonna have to go from the right. So let's 
swing over that way. I don't know what the uh, treasure chests do. Oh, it just freezes them. Well, that's helpful. I don't really need to kill them. I just need them to not kill me, so... A mystery man. Ooh, but it lasts different times depending on how long you do it. Oh, and a king killed him eventually. Uh, stop it. Knock it off. Gotta be more prudent about that. Ah. It doesn't seem to last a super long time. Probably a, yeah, there's definitely a guy over here. Out of the way, out of the way. It's the tourists. Here we go! Alright, doing a lot better this time. Extra bonus victim. Ooh. All right, level seven. Dr. Tongue's Castle of Terror. Gave me some trouble last time, so. Let's do our best here. Oh, yeah, uh. Let me load up better weapons. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this cross I have? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. That's good against the werewolves, I guess. Makes sense. Gotta go around. Make sure to grab you. Watch out. Grab you. Whoa! That goes real far. Whoop. Protect it for a minute while I cycle through. Ah, no! Ah! It's fine, it's fine. Not looking for like a particular score or anything, so I'm just trying to get through to see the most of the game I can. What's in the chest? Could it be a secret? Oh my god, oh my god, let me get the key! Ah. I think I still have all of my lives too, right? I don't think I've died yet. Okay, and now the question comes, how to get further in the castle? Oh, okay, there's just a hallway. I guess I should have seen this. Is there a secret passage here? My ice. Hey, what am I doing? I have a, literally have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> oh, that's clever. I, I completely thought of it as just a weapon because that's how they presented it, but then it can still extinguish fires. Not going to this deal. I'm getting kind of a Doom vibe here, too. I don't know if any of it, like Doom, Duke Nukem, Commander Keen as well. Oh, look at that cash. Look at that cash on him. Trapped. Guess that I gotta go through the thing. Yep, gotta go through. Okay. Okay. Just freeze him up. Save her. No. Freeze him. Okay. I'm 
And then let me just grab this potion. And we're out. Nice. Forty feet of terror in Titanic Toddler. Oh, yeah, this is one of the bosses. I've seen this one in, uh, in a lot of the playthroughs before. What was that? Um, let's let's switch to popsicle. I get a vibe the popsicle will be the. Keep forgetting what order they're in. There we go. Whoa! Yeah, there he goes. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Oh, he's so big. Let's get him with the soda pops. Oh, we'll try and get him with the soda pops. Just gonna avoid that situation for a minute. Oh, wait, you can do it through the walls, right? So, come on, get over here. Get close. So fast. Something about something that big moving that fast is terrifying, to be sure. Whoa! I only did one damage? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's killing my guys left and right! Get out of here. Let me just get out of here. Ah, ah. Yeah, you can swim. Keep forgetting. I just assume the water is a no go. So many games. Uh, will it not let you go? Don't worry about him. Isn't there? I'm over here. That probably means I have to beat the boss, huh? Well, never mind. Hey, like, cheese him. Oh, that's something. That's something. Oh, you know what? Can I use the clowns to my advantage? Will he care about the clown? the soda pops they're like high damage splash damage so I don't have to be too accurate I got a lot of them let's get the health on deck god Oh boy, uh, what else do we got? Whoa, oh that's cool. Whoa, why haven't I used that before? Nope. Oh, he won't go in the water though. How do I, how do I cancel out? Just like a timed thing, or yeah, that's very satisfying. Um, oh, you can just punch through walls and such. Cool. Oh, and it is a timed thing. Okay. Let's get out of here. LBGS Lab Gus The Bugs Toxic Terrors Level 9 Alright, let's uh, Oh, I'll just save the guy Ooh, Oh, yep, yeah, them's blobs Ah, no Get off 
What do I do? What do I do? That was very unfair. I think we'll use some sodi pops in this one. Or, you know what? They're blobs, so... We want to use the... Yeah. Yeah, okay, it is just like the blob. Let's use a fire extinguisher. Again, I always forget to turn on the minimap. Oops. Ah, dip. Oh, well, I can just save him before he dies. Cool. Yeah. Back off. Save him. Ah, dip. Can I, like, wash it off? Nope. Oh, I could just get out of here. Looks like there was a bunch of goodies, but let's not mess around. Level 10. No assembly required. Oh, great. Is it going to be more of those little crappy baby dolls? So yeah, again, let's uh Oh the soda? The soda is what they expect me to use? Okay. Whoa, yeah, that's like an immediate death for them. Okay, cool. Ooh, it's so slow. Immediate death and you can do it over the wall. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I guess there's the boxes, but. Dude. Oof, oof, oof. There we go. Uh, whoops, let's switch to health, which I only got one health pack left. No! Ah, you my dude! My oh, fella! Got him. Oh, no, he's on fire. No, back off. Dip, 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 dip. My sodi pop. Okay, let's change this to something a little more helpful. Well, okay, I guess I'll use these. Yeah, combo of those. Real good. Stop it, stop it. See, yeah, it's even trying to tell me. And it's still thematically appropriate. Score. D 
50. Yep. No, that's not game over. I still got one more. Ah, I think we get... Wait. No, we don't. Alright. I gotta... Get the bazooka. Ah. Okay. Where is this last guy? Oh, right around here. There he is. Okay, gotta get around to him. From, oh my god, this belt is so long. Let me just get the speed shoes. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, man. That was rough. I hate those dolls. Plants go berserk in level 11. Weeds gone bad. Well, sounds like I need the weed whacker. Oh, there's only two. Where are they at? Right over here. Yeah, what's up? I'm just doing some lawn work here. That was it. That was a crazy short level. Okay. Nice. Weed cutting bonus. Sick. They came to Earth for one thing. Level 12. Mars needs cheerleaders. Wow! Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so fast! Hey, quit bubbling me. Knock it off. Oh yeah, I should probably turn on my situation. Watch out for ballers. Get him. Whoops. Oh, my melatonin alarm. I'll have to take that on break. Whoa! Whoa! Back off! No, back off! Oh, over here. This is another situation where I gotta, like, defeat something. Why can't I popsicle? Did I still not get any health? Okay, we're gonna... We're going ham. on him. Uh, da -da. Can't do anything about that guy, so I guess I gotta throw throw like some sooty pops up top. Something. I don't know. What do, what do they want me to do here? Oh, oh, that's game over. That's a game over. Oh, well, I remember the password this time, so we'll crack back into it after the break. But I'm going to take a quick break, so I will be our back. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. More zombies ate my neighbors in just a minute. Okay, okay.
Hey, we are back. All right, gonna go for, uh, yeah, probably another hour, I think. Gonna start trying to do, you know, three to four hour streams at least, you know? Because before I was like, if I'm gonna stream, I should stream for at least an hour. And then I was like, well, two hours, but it's like, no, nah, if I'm gonna stream, I should probably stream at least three hours, right? Anything less than that, you know, unless I have a very good reason. Like, what's, there's no point in doing it for less, you know? Uh, okay. The password was LBGS. Lesbian, bisexual, gay, snails. Here we go. I forgot to run an ad. Yeah, whatever. It happened. Oh, I'm starting at zero by doing that, so I don't have the, uh, I don't have the fire extinguisher. Ooh. That's, that's an interesting wrinkle. So I don't have any of my stuff. Hmm. Okay. I think I'll still be able to manage, it's just gonna be way harder. Especially starting here, there's like nothing... There's no good stuff on this level, it's a very short one. Oh. Ah, but they still give you that just in case. So let's mow. That's open. Oh, ah, Need a key. Ah! Got got. Got got. Oh, I can't even open my mini map. Okay. All right, and then we can. Uh, shh, uh, shh. You know, like a fire extinguisher. They make a noise like that. Okay, now we can save this baby. Oh, we made it all the way around anyway, so. Who cares? I don't even care. Uh, nope. Ah, dip. Oh, it takes like half your health, but it does it real slow. No, no, no. Oh, ooh, ooh, ow, ooh. Ah, dip. Ah, get her. Alright, let's get. Stuff. 
Ah, uh, I need more for the health pack. Oh, there it is. I think that's the last one. Oh, get him. Oh, I can't open it. Because I'm all gooed up. Can you pick up this key at least? Okay. Well, it was already gone, but it was, it was fine. Let's go! Get the heck out of here. All right. Is this the Toy Factory one? Yeah, I don't have like any shoddy pops. I'll do my best. Look at that, they give you a health pack right off the bat because they know you'll need it. Some could call it good game design, some could call it... Sucks. Hey, that should have hit him. That was totally close enough. <sighs> Whatever. God, that's the thing that sucks, is that the soda pops are the best way to deal with them. But they move out of the range of it, like, immediately. Are you kidding me? God, this isn't even the right way to the guy I was trying to save. Ah, rah, rah, rah. You see that? You see that precision soda popping? Soda popping and just can't stop him. minute at least, so that's something. Oh my god, get him. Ah! No, no! Ah! Ah! Well, then I need a stream marker that. That was hilarious. Alright, got her. God, there's so many on this level. Uh-oh, I only barely touched him, so he, uh... Still a bit of a troublemaker. <sighs> yeah, that's the worst part, is when they just explode a little bit and turn into a little flamey guy that's just as fast. All up in your business. Bazooka, yeah, I do have a bazooka, okay. There we go. And the sodi pops. Oh, I'm out of sodi pops. Ah! No! No! Let's save the guy. Run away! Run away! Them up. That that helps. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, big big old rip. Rip and a half, my man. Oh, uh, can I get through? I don't think I can. I think I can just bust through the wall here, though. Yeah. Ooh, almost wasted it. Almost wasted a key. Okay, that's it. Ah, that was gonna be on a health pack. That's some popsicles at least. Those are pretty useful. Ah, 
Where's the last couple guys? I guess over on this side, because I haven't really explored the right side very much. Oh, he ducks it? Just wasted a bazooka blast for him to duck? Let me throw, let me throw. Let me throw! Ah! Okay, sorry pops. Nope, but we got... Get the baby. Let me get the baby. Ah. God, these guys suck. Where's the last guy? Where's the last neighbor for two zombie that did not eat with the zombie? Okay, the weed whacker actually does pretty good. Just gotta keep it kind of uninterrupted. Oh my god! Now it was a waste of time! Where's the last guy? bunch of stuff here at least. Maybe over that way? No. No, I've been over there. Where's this last guy at? Ah, no. I keep wasting my good stuff. I have to presume the popsicles work, right? Oh. Yep. Stop it. Oh no, I needed that. <laughs> Last guy is right up there. I can't get to him. Okay, I gotta find a way around then. really make you just trek. Alright, I gotta use the water gun. It's the least useful one. Okay. Just gotta keep dropping clowns. That's what I do anyways. Oh, thought I didn't have a key for a second. Got him! Let me out! Oh my god. That level sucks. Let's go berserk in Weeds Gone Bad. Oh. oh. There's a lot more of them this time. Oh no, and I don't have any... I don't have a weed whacker. Oh, there's a weed whacker. I grab it. Ah, ah. No! Oh no! I think that's it. Nope, that's not it. Baby. Here. Y'all. You. There were only two last time. Why are there so many more this time? Maybe they all died before I even had a chance. 
right in like, the middle, yeah? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, I ran out of weed whacker, weed whacker right at the end. Well, just gotta barrel through. <sighs> yep. Took a lot of damage. That's the name of the game. Well, the name of the game is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. They came to Earth for one thing. Mars needs cheerleaders. So what do I do here? Whoa, no, no! Well. That's game over, buddy. Dip. Well, let's go with another run from the top. Because I, I was just, like, so low on items in that one. Whoops. Switch to Julie. Eh, that's fine. Zombie panic. I wonder if she actually plays different or if it's just a visual. She's got a blue gun. And she's got pink health. Yep. Oof. Terrible RNG with those. I'm pretty sure they're randomized, right? They seem like they're different every time. special over here. More ammo. Okay, I think that's it. Might be stuff more on there, but yeah, there you go. It's all... Good. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. In the pool. In the gruel. Get a dog. Uh, I don't really need the fire extinguisher, so let's save that key. Got everybody. You can see a thousand points, which is pretty good. Alright, let's do it. I love her spunky attitude. She's a go-getter. Ah, Spent all this time admiring her spunky attitude when I could have been saving neighbors. Oops. Gotta make sure you actually get the guy. So rarely anything good in those, but the one or two times that there have been, it's like, oh, I guess it's worth it. Yeah, see, sometimes you get a health pack, sometimes you get absolutely bored. No, no, no. No! Ah, I can never seem to get that guy in time. I think that's kind of the point, though, right? Make it extra difficult for you. And then, last guy's right up there. Search. Searching for a clue. Got him. Three. Yeah, we're cranking through them now. Now that I know how this game plays. The 
soundtrack is a little chaotic too, but that's like, it matches the tone, so I'm down, down with it. minimap always forget for some reason I don't know why it just it doesn't just default does it like lose you points if you do it oh, get the baby before the baby, baby gets got can I like sip of the juice I just don't understand this area can't sip of the juice decoy. Super, super useful. And then some popsicles. Be good for the body snatcher level. Just make a quick shortcut here. Grab it to pick shoes. Uh, those babies are creepy. Well, the babies too, but the baby dolls. Oh, oh I should have got. <sighs> yep, I should have gotten them first. I forget them each time too, each and every time. All right. Oh boy, my least favorite. This one and the like. Toy, toy, uh, factory one. Suck. It's all right. Grab the uh teacher, I guess. It's hardly worth it. Tip, I hate when you miss it by just a little bit. Like the hitboxes are a little unforgiving. You gotta get grilling, Dad. You gotta get grilling, Dad. Whoops. Okay. Enjoy your time with the clown, buddy. They do make quite an awful sound, don't they? There we go. F H R X. Okay. Weird kids on the block. Let's switch the popsicle. I like that for this one. Oh, right. They make themselves look like you, so in this case, they're gonna make me look like... They're gonna make themselves look like Julie, because I'm Julie now. I'm straight up Julie this time. What exactly are they doing that causes me pain? That's always the thing in, like, classic Nintendo games is, like, why am I getting hurt right now? You know, just touching enemies will hurt you in most of these old games. And what is, what is the logistics of that? Do they have poisonous skin? Are they covered in some sort of horrible acidic goo? Okay, that guy's safe because they don't go in the water. Oh, I didn't even notice. And of course, what's your weapon when you're underwater? Water. Love little details like that. Like they didn't have to do that, but it immediately communicates like, hey, you can't use your weapons right now. You're underwater. 
also like that you can blow up walls or use the key. It's totally up to you. Having the option makes me feel pretty good. Health pack. There's a key to get back through here. Then, uh, yeah, let's just blast our way through. Oh, we can't. I don't have any left. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get around. We'll get around. Why are these popsicles explosive? I do not think you should consume them. They are as explosive as this. Seems unsafe. Somebody get OSHA on this. Violation. Ah, dip. Well, I can get around. It's just annoying. Sometimes you can't pop something. I don't get it. I didn't get it. it didn't make sense to me. And the next one is the giant baby, right? More shocking than level five. Oh no, it's the pyramid. Right, the baby is level eight gonna save a gonna save a tasty tasty um potion for that one now that I know what they do careful not to go through any doors until I'm sure that's what I want to do they close up behind you you can always blast them back open, but, you know. The less you have to, the better. Ah, damn. Help back. Keep that in mind. I remember, there's this guy, Lord Cat, and he did a series called Until We Win. He stopped doing it eventually. Um, he was actually one of the first people on Twitch because he was like a big streamer on Justin.tv and then, so they were like, well, we're making it Twitch. So they actually like had him sign a contract, like an exclusivity contract, I think. But uh, yeah, the show was literally just like hard games, usually from SNES or NES. Uh, he would just figure out how the heck you were supposed to win them. And I remember he did one episode on this and, uh, yeah, maybe I'll watch that sometime, get real good at this, and then come back to it. Because they'll go into all the strategies and such of, like, how you can beat it. Um, I think I've utterly bored to myself. Yeah. Well, I still have ways around. Whoops. Uh, well, yeah, let's do it. I don't know why I did it that way. But sure. We'll go up. Oh! The secret passages, eh? I didn't even realize. Well, let's save the sodas for the later level. Those absolutely suck. Oh, whatever's there gets done did. Okay. That is very helpful to know. And there's the last guy. Oh, that's passage. Uh, let me get... Let me switch to the... Ah! Sword gun, there we go. Right, and there they are. Let's get out of here. So this next one, 
This next one is the castle, and the castle's not too bad. Dr. Tongue's Castle of Terror. We don't even run into Dr. Tongue in this level. Who the heck is he? Alright, let's have the cross. Just in case. I appreciate that, how it's all like classic organ music and then it switches into the cool modern synth. So rad. It's not that rad. Frankly. Oof, 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 my bones. Alright. Wow, there's really not that many victims in this one. even have any fire extinguisher. Let's see what I can do. Whoop. Let's see what I can scrap together. I think the squirt gun would probably put it out too. Probably just like much slower. Yeah, it did. Just, as I predicted, a lot slower about it. Oh, money, money, money. Money. We got it, we got it. Whoops, whoops. Don't waste a key when you can just go around. Well, I guess that's a different area, huh? Ah, no, no, no! Oh my goodness, almost died. All right, now it's the baby, I'm pretty sure. Extra bonus victim. Forty feet of terror in Titanic Toddler. All right, let's yeah immediately switch to the potion as soon as I can get over there. Here we go. Does she have a different monster design? Oh, she's got a hat. take him out. You, no, baby on baby violence. Turns off your mini map too. Oh jeez. Oops. Yeah, let's do another one. Cause yeah, I'm not gonna be able to take him out in any other way. I guess maybe with the soda pops, but it's like, it takes too long. Get back here, get back here. I just, I wish he wasn't so fast. He's so powerful and so fast. Come on, come back, come back here, baby. Let's, ah. That's all right, I still got two lives. Do it. There we go. Shrunk down to size. Hmm. Yeah, just like almost nothing. 
Ugh, they're so stingy. Anything over here of note? No, it doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, there was some gold behind the tree. That's useful. That's very useful. We got the ladies, the fellas, the cheerleaders, the neighbors. Did much better on that one this time. DBGK. Duff, Buns, Gorbic, Crims, Crimsley. Where's the... Where's the fire extinguisher? I still don't have a fire extinguisher, huh? There's gonna be one somewhere around here, yeah? Well, nothing I could have really done about that. Well, I do have the weed whacker. Well, doesn't matter. It's like a good up. the extinguisher. Just the, the extinguisher is so difficult to use, though. Like, especially on these guys who move so fast and they have such ridiculous hitboxes. You know? the goo dropping down from the ceiling that's gonna get you don't let the goo get you wish you could just wash the goo off leave before it hurts me anymore. Okay. Do, doing better. I think. Oh, lord, this level. Okay. Sody pop. Gonna need it. No, oh, just watch out for that guy. Come on, come on. Where's it? There we go. Sody pop. Back up top. Nope. Nice try, pal. Let's put the clowns on. That'll give me a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, 
up. Oh, let me through. Oh, back off, back off. Yep, yep, yep. Clowns, clowns. There it is. Alright, we'll be safe. For at least a little bit. God, that clown did nothing! on deck at least. Oh boy, I'm doing a better job of navigating to all the dudes at least. No, 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 my baby. Well, oh, and baby. I know not whose they are. There we go. Oh, no, dip! Where's the last guy? Where's the last guy? Let's blast our way through here. I get the feeling that they're gonna be over here again. Maybe not. God, do they got Heelys on? Slip sliding wherever they please. Right, yeah, you gotta blast through some doors. Get this last guy, at least I've had to the last few times. Wait this way. Pretty sure it's this way. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, actually, I think it is up and to the left. Probably. Ooh, little key situation. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, my guy. Where's he at? His little baby. Nice try. Let me out. Ah, oh, I still got hit one last time. One last hit for the road. Plants go berserk in weeds gone bad. All right, I got plenty of plenty of juice this time. Where's that? There it is. Yeah, I need to stop whenever it's safe to serve as much as I can, because even with it all maxed out, I said that and I didn't even think about doing it. And bam, there we go. Easy. That was fun, because it's just like a, a quick little satisfying business. Nice. Okay, and then this one, I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing. Don't have any kind of health pack. So I 
yeah, I'm not sure. I guess just find the cheerleaders before they get to them. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. so fast no don't bubble me whoa well at least that doesn't do damage you know ah, ah. one more one more oh where's that where's that no no ah right at the last second I was so close well, they'll do it for now, but I'll probably play this again sometime. It was really fun. Ah, zombies ate my neighbors. Indeed. All right. That'll do it. Um, I'm going to actually add something in here real quick. There we go. So now we can have music while I do my outro. So, yeah, thank you, guys very much for watching thanks for choosing iggy kid twitch streams i know you have a lot of options in streaming entertainment so i'm glad you picked this please check out that charity stream i put a lot of work into it i think it came out pretty great donate to wigs for kids if you can you know donate your hair donate your money whatever i'd really appreciate it and so would they like i said my schedule is going to be mondays thursdays and fridays no no wait wait, wait. mondays fridays and saturdays so in the evenings for monday and friday and then in the middle of the day for Saturday, I'm going to be doing little warm-ups, usually with Mario Kart or something else. So you can look forward to that. Follow if you uh, want to see that. Subscribe if you'd be so kind. You know, I put out stuff pretty often and you'll get notifications whenever I go live. Check out my socials down below. I got Discord server, got Twitter, got YouTube, got a YouTube archive of all my past streams. Um, anything else? Uh, tip, if you're so generous. I'd really appreciate that. Um, yeah, but I hope to see y'all on Friday for some Pokemon Legends Arceus. And, uh, yeah, let's see who there is to read over to. But, hey, no one else has told you this. I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right, let's see who we got to read over to. We got, ooh, looks like Vapor Bobble is live. Vapor Bobble. Yeah, I haven't done Vapor Bobble in quite a while. They're a VTuber. They're also playing Mario Kart 8, so that's sweet. So yeah, we're gonna raid over to Vapor Bobble. Let them know I sent you. Have a great rest of your Monday, great rest of your week. I'll see y'all on Friday. And yeah, I hope you have a good time. Okay, uh, goodbye, goodbye, uh, goodbye. <laughs>